we are going to have to be able to look at any number and state how many significant figures there are in each number. And so we're just going to work through a couple of examples. I am always going to cross out the zeros that are not significant and then underline the numbers that are. And just as a review, we'll put each number in scientific notation so that we see that no matter what, scientific notation will always indicate the correct number of significant figures. So the number is 37,500. These zeros are at the end of a number, so they are not significant because there's no decimal in the number. And so these three values are significant. So that number's got three significant figures. And it looks like my paper's breathing. Uh, the way we put this in scientific notation, 3.75 times 10 to a positive power, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, the three significant figures do show up when we put the number in scientific notation. We always cross out all the zeros at the beginning of a number. So again, this number has three significant figures. And in scientific notation, it's also 3.75 times 10. And this number is going to be a negative power because the number's little. 1, 2, 3. So this is 10 to the negative third. And once again, the three significant figures show up. This number has four significant figures. We are always going to cross out all the zeros at the beginning, meaning everything else remains significant. So that's got four significant figures. And in scientific notation, we would be incorrect unless we remembered to put that zero as part of that value. This is going to be 10 to the negative 1. <clears throat> Here, these zeros will not be crossed out because zeros at the end of a number count as long as there's a decimal anywhere in the number. So all four of those values are also significant. <coughs> Excuse me. 2.2 is the same numerical value, but we would see that we don't have, <coughs> excuse me, we don't have any values there. So when we do have zeros at the end of a number, when there's a decimal present, those always are counted as significant. 0.5, we're going to cross out that leading zero. This has one significant figure, and this would be 5 times 10 to the negative 1. Point five zero zero again, cross out all the zeros at the beginning. All three of those values are significant. And so three significant figures. This would be 5.00 times 10 to the negative 1. Again, as far as the calculator goes, this is the same value. That's a half, and this is a half. But uh, once again, <clears throat> we know this value to uh, these place settings. And so those zeros do tell us something about how well we know that number. Here, 5,000. 5,000 does not have a decimal. So those zeros, again, are just uh, placeholders. This is an estimation. We've got one significant figure. And this is 5 times 10 to the third. If I wanted to write the number 5,000 and show that number to four significant figures, we would actually place a decimal at the end of the number. And that looks kind of strange, but placing that decimal at the end of the number automatically gives us four significant figures. And this number would be 5.000 times 10 to the third.